Hello guys, my name is Matthew and in today's video I'm going to show you how you can integrate Notion with Todoist. First of all, we have to create ourselves an account at uh, Notion.com and once we do that, uh, we are ready to make some integrations. Uh, we are going to use automate.eo. I will leave the link in the description down below the video to uh, start the integration. Uh, what we want to do now, we want to go to the top corner and we want to hover over integrations. Uh, once we hover over it, we want to go to the top left corner of this pop-up window and see all categories. We can search from 200 and more apps, but we are uh, interested in uh, Notion at the time. So let's go with Notion. And uh, the second uh, application, as I said, is Todoist. Click at Todoist and Automate.io is providing some popular integrations for us that we can choose from and just start with Try Now or we can scroll down and you can create your own integration. As you can see in this left side, you are picking a trigger. So let's go with the first one. It should start in a notion. The action uh, will become or will uh, go from uh, Todoist. So let's go with the first one as well. Uh, but you can choose whichever you like. Just remember, on the left side uh, has to be Notion, on the right side Todoist. And you just have to try it now uh, button, which will redirect you and you will have to log in to your account at uh, automate.eo and just basically finish your integration. The second application that we can use is uh, Zapier. Uh, we also have a create an account at zapier.com and once we do that, uh, we are at the dashboard. We want to go to the top left corner and we want to make a zap. We can name our zap for uh, future purposes like uh, making uh, more apps or more integrations. So let's go with Notion to Todoist and it works the same way like it works with uh, Automate. So start with Notion in this search window as a trigger number one. We, uh, we have to choose an event. Uh, click on continue. Now we have to create, uh, we have to log in with the account that we created. Continue. And the trigger from a database uh, will be the one you already have in Notion. If you're working with Notion, I don't have anything in here right now because my account at Notion was created just for the purpose of uh, basically showing you how it's done, the integration itself. So we can go straight to the second action. And second action uh, will be at the Todoist. We click on Todoist. We also have to choose an event from a couple of events. So let's go uh, once again with the first one click continue and the last thing is just to sign into Todoist and that's about it. So thanks for watching and see you on the next video.